Hello friends. This is Web's Lesson Chat Application Tutorial Series, with PHP Socket Programming, and in this video we will learn, how we will make script for logout from this chat application. Now in your mind one question has arise, why we have make complete one video on logout, it is simple script, just remove all session variable, and user can log out from system. But here, at the time of logout, we will also change user login status, this status we will use for display, which user is currently login into system, and which are offline. So for this here we have create complete one video on logout. So for this, we have go to chatroot.php file, and here we have create one dollar login user id variable with blank value, under this variable, we will store user id of login user. Now we have go to this for each loop, and here we have write dollar login user id variable is equal to dollar value id variable, so here we have store login user id under this dollar login user id variable. Next, here we want to create one hidden field for store value of login user id so here we have write input type is equal to hidden name is equal to login user id and id is equal to login user id and in value attribute we have write value is equal to php echo statement with dollar login user id variable value after this we want to make logout button for this, here we have write input type is equal to button, id is equal to logout, name is equal to logout, and value is equal to logout. So when user click on this button, then they can log out from system. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have write dollar with button id logout, with click event. So when user click on logout button, then this block of code will execute. Under this function, we have write user id variable is equal to dollar with hidden tag id login user id with value method. So here we have store hidden field value under this user id variable. Now we have start write ajax request and under this we have write first option url set to action.php so this ajax request will send to action.php file in second option we have write method and here we have write post so this method will use post method for send data to php server script in third option we have write data and under this option we can define which data we want to send to the server so here we have write user id variable and action variable with leave value. Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function will be called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write response variable is equal to json.pass method. And under this we have write data, so it will convert data into JSON string, and store under this response variable. Now, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write response.status variable value is equal to 1, if this condition true, then it will redirect page to login page. So for redirect, here we have write location is equal to on index.php. So it will redirect page to login page, and user will log out from system. Now we have go to action.php file, and here first we have write session start function, it will start session variable under this file. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post action variable, and dollar post action variable value is equal to leave so this condition will check 
If this dollar post action variable value is set, and that value must be leave, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write require statement, with database folder name slash chat user dot php, so by using this statement, we can use chat user class method, and under this file. After include chat user class, now we want to create object of this class, so here we have write dollar user object is equal to, new chat user, so by using this object, we can use method of this chat user class, under this action.php file. Now, first we want to set login user id variable value, so here we have write dollar user object with set user id method, and under this, we have write dollar post user id variable. Next, we want to set the value of user login status variable, so for this, we have write dollar user object, with set user login status method, and under this, we have write logout. So this way, we have set the value of both variable. Now we want to update user logout data in MySQL database, so here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar user object, with update user login data method. This method will change user login status from login to logout, in chat user table. And under if block of code, first we want to delete dollar session user data variable value, so for this, here we have write unset function, and under this, we have write dollar session user data variable, this function will remove dollar session user data variable. Next we want to remove all session variable value, so here we have write session destroy a function, this function will delete all session variable value. Lastly, we want to send request to Ajax request, so here we have write echo statement, with JSON encode function, and under this, we have write status key, with 1 as value, so it will send request to Ajax request in JSON format. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends here, we have first enter login details, for login into chat application. After this, we have click on login button, after click on login button, here page has redirect to chat root.php page, and here we can see profile image with edit and logout button. Now we have go to MySQL database chat user table, and here we can see Donna Hubba user login status display login, that means this user is currently login into our system. So we have go to chat root web page, and here we have click on logout button, after click on logout button, page has been redirect to login page, that means user has logout from system. Now we have go to chat user table, and here we have refresh web page. So here, we can see that, Donna Hubba user login status has been changed to logout, that means this user is logout from this chat application. So this login status column value, we will use for display user is online or offline. So friends, in this part, we have learned how user can log out from system, and how can we change login status. In next part, we will learn how to install Ratchet WebSocket library under this our chat application. So here we have stopped this video, and we will be meet in next video. And lastly thank you for watching this video.